Hi guys, Michael Jensen here. Today we're gonna tie a dark knobler. Trevor Housby, the man who invented the dark knobler, favored a tiger stripe version. Uh, he used it in, in white and brown and another one in, in black and yellow. I kind of favor this burnt orange color, so I changed the brown for, for burnt orange. It's almost brown but it's just got some when wet it's got some kind of glow as well so I like that that's what we're gonna do today hang on Okay, I attach the tying thread. Go down the shank, touching turns, and go back to the head again. Then I prepare the marabou tail. Since the tips of this particular piece of marabou are very thin and I want a more bulky tail. I deliberately tie this too long and then I pinch off to the correct length. When I pinch off the marabou this way, I get some natural looking uh, tips on the, on the marabou. If I used a pair of scissors, I would get a more square cut and I don't like that. Pinching looks more natural. Then I prepare the chenille for tying in here. Tie in the white part far back. And this burnt orange a little bit further towards the hook eye. Then I wrap the white chenille. You can wrap both of these chenilles together. Um, I'm not sure if that makes a big difference. What you want to achieve is this striped body here. As you see, I tie the, these two chenilles off on opposite side of the hook shank. It's just to reduce the bulk. Try to color up the materials. And make a whip finish. Cut off. And then I soak 
threat will would lack her. On my blog, I got a an article on pinching marabou. You might want to check that out. I'll leave a um, link in the description below. Okay, guys, the Caramel Tiger Dark Nobler. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.